Clara was a short, young Caucasian woman with big, brown eyes and long brunette hair that she usually kept down, but occasionally tied up in a ponytail or bun. During her final adventures with the doctor, she trimmed her hair to a medium length which she would also ponytail on occasion. She also adopted a 1920s-style bob hairstyle briefly at one point, though this may have been a wig. Clara's appearance attracted the attention of Latimer, Porridge and the Sheriff of Nottingham and the eleventh doctor himself noted she was beautiful and showed that he was attracted to her when he said, a mystery wrapped in an enigma squeezed into a skirt that's just a little too tight, and smiled happily afterwards. She appeared to usually wear very little makeup. The twelfth doctor was very confused when she had put some on for a date with Danny Pink, asking why she had colored her face. She also was seen to wear heavier-than-usual makeup on occasion while teaching during her times when not traveling with the doctor. She wore a variety of jewelry including rings, bracelets, necklaces and earrings. Dresses were her main item of clothing, along with tights, jackets and skirts. Early in her travels with the doctor, she regularly carried around a red bag that sometimes held her keepsake book that used to belong to her mother. As time went on, however, she no longer carried the bag or the book with her. According to her Victorian incarnation and the Twelfth Doctor, respectively, and realized her legs were much shorter than her predecessor, Amy Pond. Wolf made a crack about Clara's height being about the same as one of Santa Claus's elves when he said it was hypocritical that someone of her height would say a racist remark towards elves, to which Clara reacted self-consciously. According to Clara, she was average height. Upon seeing an image of Amy Pond for the first time, Clara was heard remarking in a mixture of jealousy and admiration about the length of the previous companion's legs. During a brief period when she was taken over by the spirit of Cali, Clara temporarily grew to super Amazonian height and grew two additional arms while her skin turned blue and she grew fangs. After returning to her natural state, Clara remarked that being tall was the only part of the affair she liked. And joking with the doctor, after correctly surmising the origin of the Morpheus machine's name, oh yeah, not just this. On one occasion where she had the rare opportunity to view an earlier version of herself from the rear, she expressed approval. Ashilder also told Clara shortly before her death that she was as beautiful as she was in photographs she had seen. She once caught the attention of Leonardo da Vinci and was the original model for his famous painting, The Mona Lisa, which would go on to intersect with the doctor's life on numerous occasions. The twelfth doctor indicated to Leonardo that the likeness wasn't very good, except for capturing Clara's perpetual smirk and claiming to not notice how she'd made herself more attractive than usual for a date. Regardless of whether these statements were honest or meant in jest, eventually the doctor stopped insulting Clara about her appearance and in fact paid her a public compliment by playing the opening guitar riff from Roy Orbison's, Oh, Pretty Woman, by way of signaling to her that he had seen her in a crowd of people. And the last thing he wanted Clara to do before he passed out after wiping his memory of her was to smile. Like most companions, Clara's wardrobe varied, and after her first few adventures with the doctor, was rarely seen wearing the same outfit twice except on occasions where one adventure led directly into the next. One notable exception was a leather jacket she began sporting in conjunction with her motorcycle riding. She rarely wore revealing outfits, and opted for period-appropriate dress whenever possible. Unlike many of her generation, Clara did not have a tattoo during her normal lifetime though she indicated to Riggsy that she was interested in someday getting a small and discreet one. This was just before taking on the quantum shade timer on the back of her neck, which resembled a tattoo. Aside from following the standard human custom of piercing her earlobes to wear jewelry, she also sported an additional helix, piercing midway up the cartilage of her left ear in which she often wore a stud. The piercing became more visible after Clara cut her hair after the dream crabs, cantroferi, incident. 